Good morning, guys. Good How morning. are you? How is going? It's so we good. start our trip to Pamir Mountains get, from uh, Harut. Get some altitude now. Yeah, it's already. How's your feeling? It's okay? Yeah. We're all good. Very good. Okay. Let's go find the sheep. Yes. mountains. I have never seen mountains quite like this. But they will be good. Yes. We have very good guides. We're ready to slide in rifles and then we go hunt. Oh, Mr. Kruger, how are you? Here, this is Eskimo friend. Yeah. I look like a Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> so you're ready? Are we bringing our backpacks with us? Yeah, of course. Coming back. Uh, no, uh, no, no, no uh, for shooting you mean or for hunting? For hunting. No. So I leave my pack here? Yes, just put in the tail. I mean, tail, no problem. Yes, target ready for us. Okay. Yeah. Well, we so, Craig, what's, what's going on now? Too many shots, huh? Yeah, we're different elevation that I programmed the scope for. So we had to dial it in for this elevation. And uh, we're in the black now, so that's the kill zone. We'll be good. Uh, and shot, shot was at 300 uh, meters about? 300, 300 yards. Yards, yeah, let's say yards. So um, I feel comfortable now. Got it in the black. Um, not perfect, but you know, you're laying on a pile of rocks, you do the best you can, but you're not gonna be perfect so, up in the mouth. So at least you understand now how your how your rifle is shooting, like That's most you know how the bullets is moving. Most part to know where my rifle is shooting. And so Jay 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 left already for his hunting. Walter is now shooting from the back of us. So we also ready for start our trip in Tajikistan for Marco Polo and probably for the Ibex. Let's go. Got on a uh, group up in the mountain there, a few miles away. Uh, they, they, guys are looking at them, saying they're a little small, 55 inch. We're trying to get about a 58. So we're, we just started first day. So we're gonna look a little longer. I mean, we're first half hour, so we got a lot, plenty of time. So we're gonna look for the little bigger one. Guy thinks he knows where somewhere at. So that's it's mean, it's mean. If it be, for example, last day, probably we'll go. But oh, definitely. Yeah. First day, first hour. I think let's try to yeah. better. We're just gonna go take a look around and see what's yeah. better out there. Yes. So, but we're confident that we'll find a bigger one. Yes. Why not? We have time and good weather. What else? Wonderful weather. Good. It was it was difficult to shoot, yeah. Yeah, they're walking right into the sun, so it's hard to get a. Then when I did have a shot, he'd walk next to another ram. And so. Yes, yes. So it's our second day of 
mark of ownership in Tajikistan. Yesterday, I have several chances to get trophy. Yes, you go, right? It's a risk of it. She's looking to us. Good morning, guys. Good morning, hunters. We're in Tajikistan. It's about 5,000 meters elevation. So, honestly, how many feet? <laughs> when we collect a little over 15,000. 15,000. So honestly, think, honestly, let can I say one thing? <laughs> Craig knows from today morning I feel not so well. He knows why. So elevation and elevation, guys. This is a very serious hunt. So you should be ready and ready. So now I would like to give word to Craig. It's his first ship. So we really congratulate him with Mahan and with Farhot because they, these people work well. But now, Craig, please, your turn. Well, as you know, when you get your first sheep and you're part of the Lesson 1 Club, I kicked myself out officially this morning, December 6th, uh, with this nice, I don't know what to say, it's a 58 inch uh, Marco Polo Argali, and air sent up here, and it's cold up here, so bear with me. It's my first sheep ever, and uh, I couldn't pick a better team to hunt with. And uh, came out here with uh, Asif Ilyasov from Global Safaris in, out of Azerbaijan, and, uh, and my other friend Jay. And we came out here, and they're still hunting, but I closed it out today. All you less than one club members, it can happen for you. They do a lot of drawings that can help you out or over in time you can get one yourself and it's a thrill. You just have to do it. I'm a sheep hunter for life. So good luck to you in the future and I will see you in Reno at the convention. Thank and we, you. We should say thank you for watching you for this convention because exactly we met there together and we were starting speaking there. So this is really good convention for serious people, for serious hunters and as you see result. Well, I can't say enough about Wild Sheep Foundation. They do so much to help out the sheep population. And uh, I'm so glad that I joined years ago and uh, I will be a member for the rest of my life. But that's where I met Asif 
years ago, and we planned this for a long time ago. And uh, I'm happy I came. It's uh, not an easy hunt, but uh, it's worth it. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Thank you very much. And you're Thank welcome you. hunt with us. Thank oh. you, guys. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. Good morning. Good morning from Tajikistan. Today is 8 December 2016. So Jay Fernie got his Marco Polo ship here in Pamir Mountains. So I can get late. Jay with his <laughs> huge you. trophy. Thank huge you trophy. very much. It's about uh, 57 and a half inches, but I'm pretty sure it can be even 58 because with Craig, who shoot before, we set it 50. Uh, eight, but finally it became 59. Yeah. So anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not uh, running for sizes. We're, we're not running for we're field not, goal hunting. We're not counting. Yes. So Jay, just can you tell how I was hunting? And anyway, we still continue for the Ibex if we can find. But for Marco Polo sheep, you don't. This is your 20 first number 20 world sheep. So this is really, really. This, this is an amazing country. I've never been in country quite like this. And uh, the, these animals are very wise and they run a long ways. My shot was on an angle steeper than 45 degrees at 710 yards and I miscalculated and broke his leg. Long shot, by the way. Long shot, yeah. but uh, we followed up and followed the blood trail and then finished him off at 300 yards. So, but it is an impressive country. Many, many animals. Many trophies, but they run. They run very fast. <laughs> it's it's and, uh, only lo logistics is a little bit make us tired. Not so hunting on the. Street. It's the high altitude base camp is at almost ten thousand feet, yeah. and then you hunt up. But uh, the two days take us to just come here, so a little bit you should be uh, tired, uh, ready for it. The hunting, I can say, not so difficult like saying mountain hunt. Only altitude and logistics a little bit difficult. The rest is, I think it's still okay, it's my opinion, but Jay yep. know better yes. about it. No, it is very nice, it's a beautiful country, and uh, many trophies, and I also I also shot a wolf, so that helps keep more sheep on the mountain. So, but I want to thank Asif for Global Safaris, putting the whole trip together for thank us. Thank you, thank you very much, Jay. And we are looking for Ibex now, so we continue hunting. We try our best, thank you very much, see you guys. <laughs>
but very fortunate to get such a beautiful trophy here with uh, Global Safari Outfitters here in Tajikistan with Asif. And uh, I can't say anything better. I mean, everything's been great on this trip so far. Thank you for kind words. But anyway, from my side, I would like to say thank you for Greg for his trusting. He came with us. And of course, of course, and of course, Greg, as you know, most important, this is guys. This is Mahan, oh. Farhot, their job. These guys are the best. Incredible. Like, these guys without the these guys, not me, not Greg, not anybody, we can do nothing. So, of course, this is like team working together. Hunter, guys, and we outfitters. So, as you see, result. For, it's honestly speaking, it's big for Pamir Ibix in Tajikistan. Uh, when you see one meter size IVX, you people usually shoot it. One five by one ten, but one twenty three, I can't say it's like exceptional trophy for this area. Like you should work hard to find this trophy. And we did. And you did. You we did so in. many days. The, the uh, Marco Polo shoot was about two days. It took two days, but IVX it was hard work. The looking, looking, looking. Yesterday, Craig, if you remember, wow. Wow. we spent we all days, but we didn't see. <laughs> Like we saw, only we saw a lot of animals, but nothing that were you know, of this category. And, then, and we knew that these were up there. We had seen them, so we had to do a, a hard day to go in there and find them this time. Yes, honestly speaking, Greg was concentrated exactly on this size. He said, I will climb it up, even if it will be cold, <laughs> even if it will be snow, doesn't matter. So, of course, this is a hard hunt. This is a mountain hunt, altitude. But anyway, this is our result, and we can say the J also uh, shoot his Ibex today. We just must find it. Now people working on it. So finally, we can say the, our trip almost finished, successful finish. And so much more time. We've done it so fast. You know, we worked really hard. Yes. Let's see. Probably the guides put us on the animals. Yeah. They know where the animals are. Maybe we have time for some goals or something. We'll see. We're still here. Yeah. So anyway, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, you guys. Thank you.